Hey, what's up you guys? A friendly reminder. So always carry some extra valve cores, even if you're not off-roading all the time, but as long as you, because when you air down and air up all the time, you can end up like me and end up at nine PSI the next morning after off-roading from uh, damaged valve cores. And you'll end up crawling over here at the mall like me. But anyway, you can see after airing up and airing down so many times, this little valve core has, has had enough. It's been, uh, it's been done so carry these and these these are like a dollar fifty this is like three bucks maybe i'm sure you could even find a kit with both of them and then the other thing you should carry is extra valve stems um there's a company that sells emergency ones and permanent ones that will literally go from the outside so you don't have to carry uh so basically you don't have to take the whole wheel apart you just cut it pop what's left inside inwards into the wheel and it'll be fine because it's not enough weight to throw your tire off balance and then put a new one from the outside but so i'm just going with uh the uh tpms sensor deletes and i just went and got these so it'll always tell me if i'm at 36 or up or it'll also turn yellow and then red if it starts to drop so that way i can keep an eye on my tire pressure without having to have TPMS sensors because TPMS sensors are annoying, especially when you're on bead locks. And then just in general, because if you ever have to take the wheel apart because the TPMS sensor is all screwed up, then it's just a constant, constant battle. But this way, you don't have to worry about all that. Take care of it the old school way. And uh, you'll always be able to repair your stuff like that without any issues and uh, you can continue to repair it all the time so